What's up, Zoomers? So, I have something very urgent to talk to you about. And that is, uh, a lot of people have this idea that computers, they're just gonna get faster and faster and better, and everything's gonna be way sleeker in the future. Everything's gonna be, it's gonna be a uto it's gonna be wig history. Wig history is happening. Computers are gonna get faster and better and stronger and all that kind of stuff. This video, I'm gonna talk about the fact that I don't really think that's gonna happen, and I think that you don't really think that's gonna happen, and I'm gonna talk about why. And I also wanna give a, an embarrassing anecdote that involves someone else, I'm sharing it with permission, because it is like, I consider it very embarrassing. But it, it's a good example. So, um, I'll just put it this way. You've probably heard of Moore's Law, uh, if you know stuff about technology. Moore's Law is the idea that, uh, or it's really the realization that, you know, for long periods of history now that we've been making computers, the number of transistors that you can fit on any particular area of space is gonna double about every two years. That's just something that's happened. Uh, and you would think, usually what that would transfer into is the, the idea that computers are gonna get exponentially faster. You know, computers are twice as fast now as they were two years ago. They're four times as fast as they were four years ago, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I mean, it's not, it's not that simple, but you know what I mean. It's, that's the idea. Uh, so that's more or less Moore's Law. Now, I want you to think about, even, you know, before you even think about the flaws in an idea like that, or uh, I guess the asterisks, asterisks to a statement like that, uh, does, your, does the internet, ignoring bandwidth, but uh, thinking about internet applications, are they twice as fast as they were two years ago? Are your desktop applications twice as fast as they were two years ago? Are your video games twice as fast as they were two years ago? My answer to those would probably be no. I don't think anyone feels like things are faster. And in fact, you know, you since I'm a boomer who's been using computers my whole life, I sort of feel like computers haven't really gotten that fast, more fast at all, frankly. I mean, they're, they're a little faster. Internet is definitely, the internet bandwidth is definitely faster. But in terms of actually processing things or getting things done, it doesn't actually seem like anything's much faster. Now, that I think happens for a reason. Um, now, of course, you, you can tell me, of course, in terms of processing power, yes, computers are actually getting faster, but let me, let me put it this way. At the same time that Moore's Law is occurring, and our processing power is increasing, the programs that are written for computers have to care less and less about efficiency. So what ends up happening is that programs are often written incredibly inefficient, uh, you know, web apps nowadays, which used to not even exist because, you know, it was such a, an extremely intensive thing to do to, you know, do this, all this stuff in the browser. But web applications, you know, all this junk that's written in JavaScript, they even have JavaScript desktop applications. This stuff is uh, either using abstract languages or it's just inefficient code. And when you learn how to, when you take a computer science class nowadays, um, writing efficient code as it is processed by the computer, it's not a big concern, okay? And I have talked about this in videos before, and people will tell, well, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if it's actually efficient code. I mean, you just gotta get stuff done. That's the mentality that a lot of people have. Now, of course, in real life, when you have, when everyone who's writing code for your computer has that mentality, that is going to, uh, you know, that's gonna snowball into having a computer that's basically as fast as uh, uh, computers were five years ago or 10 years ago or something like that. So you're doing, basic stuff, you know, because we no long, longer have the constraints of processing power, a lot of times that means that you can now write code extremely inefficiently without actually having, having to, you know, pick up your trash, so to speak, um, and that's not a big problem. So let me give you, I, I know I mentioned that I was going to give a specific embarrassing anecdote, and I think this illustrates a problem. I was um, talking, you know, I was talking to someone who was uh, sort of writing something for himself, he, just sort of a, it, it's not really important what it is. Um, but one of the things he needed, I, I noted that, um, okay, so for this little module, you need to take that file and number all the lines, okay? So it's a, let's say it's a hundred uh, lined file, every line should have its line number on the side. Now I didn't tell him how to do that because I thought it was obvious, uh, but how he did it is he uh, wrote a Python script that looped through the file and you know numbered all of the line and incremented a variable and all that kind of stuff um, in the way that you would do in a computer science 101 course. Now the reason I didn't tell him how to do that is because I thought it was a little obvious because there is a built-in Unix utility called NL number line I guess that you could just run on a file or standard input or something like that and it will automatically number all the lines. That's all you have to do. I just assumed that I guess he knew about that. 
But he wrote yet another program, or, or just a little script, but it was bigger than it should have been anyway. Uh, he wrote this other script to go on top of all that stuff that's already on the system in a, more, uh, in, in a totally different language, Python, that loops through and does things, in this case, that weren't necessarily efficient. He is replicating a behavior of a built-in utility that he doesn't even have to do. Now, I could call him stupid for, for doing this, and of course I did, because he's my friend, but this is something that happens all the time. Uh, specifically, I mean, you know, actually to talk about Unix utilities, there are so many that do basic things that people try and reproduce. Like I was talking to someone who wanted to, oh, I need to learn to wrap my lines, so I'm going to write a Perl script to do all this. No, there are Unix utilities that literally wrap lines for you. You don't, you don't have to worry about that. Now, I say this because one of the reasons... You know, what's happening nowadays is one of the reasons that computer programs are so inefficiently written is a lot of people writing these programs aren't familiar with the things that are already on their system that do these things that they already know. Uh, you don't need to have this, you know, a Python script loop through a file and replace instances of words when you could just do use a said script. To, and it'll I, it pretty much always is going to do it way faster. Um, so... It's not, uh, I mean, this is, I guess, the problem, you know, as we are writing more and more bloated programs, um, you know, we're just, there's, there are more and more super straights separating what we're doing from our actual system, systems. And now people will be programmers, programmers, and their knowledge of programming is basically limited to the JavaScript implementation that they live in and nothing else. And this is the weird thing. So they end up reproducing things that already exist on their system that they could easily use. So, anyway, so that's what I wanted to say. I, as it comes to, again, the Whig history aspect of Moore's Law, I don't think that computers realistically are going to get faster and faster. I think that our, the stupidity at which people are writing computer programs is going to ex increase exponentially as well. I think that's pretty much, it's almost inevitable. Unless people just, there is just, oh, that's a spider web. Uh, unless people just arbitrarily, or not arbitrarily, but constrain themselves rigorously to, uh, you know, being writing efficient code or something like that. Um, I think it's realistic to, ex realistic to expect there to be no big speed increases in computers. And more than that, you know, the number of people, you know, people, I, I, you know, one aspect of my channel, and I, I don't necessarily think it's bad, but, you know, it's funny that a lot of times I'll use these basic utilities to do basic things, and people who are professional programmers nowadays just don't know about them. It's so weird to me. I mean, I, I'm just a guy who like does stuff on the, the command line to get things done efficiently. And, uh, you know, there are people who get paid six figures who don't know, who think I'm, I'm like showing them some kind of arcane knowledge. And I don't want to be snobby with it. In fact, I want to be the op opposite. I want this to be common knowledge. But it's so weird when... I, you know, people who are, frankly, paid more than me, <laughs> uh, you know, basically don't know, aren't able to do things that I think of as just being basic computer knowledge. I'll just put it that way. It's just a little, it really makes you think, frankly. Um, so that's all I have to say. Uh, yeah, that's all I have to say. So think about that next time you're writing something. And be, just read the manual for all Unix core utilities. Just do that before you even start writing stuff. And I will see you guys next time.